Lars, hey, congratulations for Power K. Thank you. So let's start off with the easy question. Why were you attracted to such a dramatic film like Powder Cake? I, I have to uh, understand what is, is, is that the, the English uh, name of the, the, the film Powder? Yes, yes. It's, it's, hey, it's, I didn't know that. Oh, what, what, what is it in your, in your language? Well, it, in my language, it is uh, Kotun, which probably means the same. It's in the name of, of the place where, it, uh, where the accident happened, where the, yeah. So, it, but I didn't know the English uh, title. Oh, <laughs> but it, yeah. it, it probably means the same. Uh, well, uh, the reason why I said yes is, uh, I guess, because I knew the director beforehand, and I know that I've been working with him before, and uh, all the things that he, he's been doing, he's so serious, and he's so, uh, when in his way of uh, approaching things, uh, he's a uh, very, I was very much into him more than the, 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 the whole play but when I read it I uh, immediately said I, I would like to do it even though I know that it's uh, you know doing uh, these uh, drama things uh, they might uh, attempt they might, they might come a discussion afterwards which will also happen to this one here because it is now, yeah now could you uh, tell us more about this uh, Copenhagen uh, shootings and how you know how it was so important that, uh, you know, it, it's such an important event for, uh, for your country, because, you know, for, for the rest of the world, this was, uh, this was just sort of like an incident, especially since, uh, since a lot of focus was on the, on the French uh, shootings just, just prior. I, I think it's because it, it happened just, just after the Charlie Hebdo. And uh, even though it was much in a much smaller scale, Denmark is a much smaller scale country and uh, known for for its uh, friendliness, you know, towards the other uh, the rest of the world. And uh, I mean, I think we look at us sometimes a little uh, like a fairy tale country where nothing really serious takes place. There is no corruption. There is a, an old democracy that has worked for ages, and uh, the the you know, the, the tension between people is uh, more in discussions than in, in real violence. So when this happened, uh, I think everybody was in shock. And even though there were only three people killed, still uh, it, uh, it started uh, a discussion in Denmark, also with uh, all the foreigners uh, living in Denmark and uh, coming from the Muslim world to, to us. And they had to sort of, uh, some people, demanded from them that they would uh, say they were, were against it. And you think also, why should they do that? And uh, it started a whole discussion afterwards about this whole issue about uh, the terrorism. In, uh, and it took place also in France and in Germany also, just before and this. And uh, so we, all of a sudden, we were a part of it, I think. And what comes next was the discussion in Denmark. Is this only the beginning? Obviously, this uh, this movie is is a, is a shocker, um, you know, for for the rest of us to actually watch. How much research did you actually do um, prior to taking on this role? When I had to, you know, it's, it's always difficult when you have to play people that has been that has died or that has been living for for real. So I did some research, but only to a certain level because people watching the film don't care about all your research. And it, it's not necessarily making the character uh, more convincing because when the day is over, I mean, it's just a per it's just a human being and you have to trust the script. That is where the, the, all the work has to be done in the script beforehand. That is where the research is done. And I know that uh, the director did a lot of research. I didn't do that much research. I, I realized at a certain moment that he used to live, this guy, he used to live almost opposite of where I lived. And I realized that before we started, I didn't know that. And, and that meant that one day after uh, the film had had premiere, I met his girlfriend in a supermarket and she came up to me and said I was his girlfriend and I was in shock I mean 
because she lives, they used to live just opposite of me. And uh, we had a, a, a long discussion and a long talk about, you know, what, uh, about the film also. And she, she liked the film and she, uh, she disliked the film and uh, no wonder. Not because of uh, what I did, but because of uh, the whole thing. She all these things that was missing out in the film. That's what she thought, and that is what happens when you do a film. Because there, we were, were four main characters in this film that uh, sort of uh, merged together. You know, but I didn't do that much research. Did uh, what? Were you pretty nervous when you actually met the real life uh, girlfriend? Uh... Like in, in in your in your mind, whether you you did it, you did you know you portrayed uh, Finn properly. Exactly, yeah. But I didn't know beforehand. She came up to me in the gr the grocery department among uh, cucumbers and bananas, and she stood in front of me. She said her name immediately when she said her name. I knew that it was her, because uh, I knew his uh, the name of of uh, his girlfriend, and I was, you know, I was so afraid. Is she gonna hit me or is she gonna embrace me or what is going to happen here in this supermarket? And uh, we started to have a conversation, really calm, and uh, it, it turned out very well. And I've met her a, a couple of times since and we just greet each other now. I, I don't need to talk to her because it's a very, it's somehow an awkward situation because for her it's real. She lost her boyfriend, uh, which she loved very much uh, and it's, it was only, you know, five years ago, so it's quite recently for her. And uh, I'm just an actor who can be shot in a film and then come home to my children afterwards. Is is Finn considered a national hero um, due to this incident? I, no, I wouldn't call him a national hero. No, not. He's considered a hero, and there has been, uh, afterward, there is a... Uh, some people have gathered together and made, you know, kind of a fund that uh, every year gives money to people who works for um, um, integration. I don't know if you should say that in English, but, but, you know, to get people to work better and people coming from the Muslim countries also so that they uh, are, are being uh, helped in their way of, of mingling into the society also. And the funny thing is that Finn was a little... In doubt of that, he used to work very much for um, for foreign people, and and then he, little by little during his work, he realized this is so difficult. There are so many things in it, so many aspects in it. He was quite left wing, and but still, it uh, he found it very difficult. So that also we are portraying that in the film. He's so pissed uh, at the end because of this Charlie Hebdo that people are able to kill other people just because they disagree with them or in the name of a, of a god. So, um, yeah. What What is your opinion on the freedom of speech? You know, that, that was such a discussion with Finn in, in this film. It is, yes. I can feel every time people ask me immediately, uh, I feel, I, I take, you know, I think, oh, I have to say the right thing, which is horrible because I don't feel myself free of speech myself because uh, I'm so afraid of saying the wrong thing. But I understand Finn in the film. And basically I would say that there is no excuse of uh, killing people because you disagree. So my um, point of view in, in in free, uh, freedom of speech is that you should be able to say almost everything. And it uh, sometimes people can be very um, hurt. And uh, it is an, an ongoing discussion here in Denmark. And uh, because we don't have any laws, or we have a, a law of, of blasphemy, I don't know what you say, that there are th certain things you cannot say, but most things you can say. And we have the Muhammad drawings in Denmark also, which started a, a horrible thing back, you know, 15 years ago. But I believe in freedom of speech. Really, I do. Oh, overall, has uh, situations have improved in your, in your country since the incident uh, five years ago, you think? No, not that much, but it's, 
it's difficult because it is basically it is something that comes from a very 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 little uh, group of people and which are the fundamentalists which exist and have always exist and will exist forever and and they are very difficult to reach and we had you know this terrible incident in Norway with the Breivik where he killed you know uh, 80 young people on an island he was a left-wing uh, fundamentalist and uh, I don't I'm, I'm not sure things have improved uh, no not, not really it could happen again but uh, what has happened is that the I don't know what you call it in English, but the police that work with these things, they are very, very uh, into uh, uh, surveying everything, you know, telephones, computers, everything. And I think we don't know about it, but I think it has prevented a lot of, uh, of things from, from happening because people are being followed everywhere, and which is a good and a bad thing. Most excellent. Well, Lars, um, could you tell us what, uh, um, how do you choose your roles and what are some of your upcoming projects now? I have, I don't have, you know, an, an idea of, um, every time people ask me if I want to play something, I look at it, has, have I done it before? Have I done it too many times? I, I have to admit, I say no to a lot of, of projects. Not that I'm uh, being overwhelmed by it, but, uh, I'm always looking for the the right thing, and um, right now I'm going to play uh, uh, in, a, in a film with where I have to be the leader of a school, a horrible guy, a really terrible guy, uh, who you know I love. You know, most people, most actors love to play horrible people, and me too. Finn wasn't a, a horrible person, but I really like playing him also. But I love my job. <laughs> it sounds like it. Uh, you, okay. you, you done an excellent job in, in this movie uh, for yourself, Thank you so Lars. Thank, Thank you uh, for uh, speaking to us and stay safe over there. Thank you. I will. Same to you. Bye bye.